how hard would it be to start a brand new community on Lethal with freshly generated characters and no legacy boons? In this walkthrough series, we'll cover just that. Howdy y'all, and welcome back for some more State of Decay 2 action. I created a new community aptly named The Lost. Now, in this series, this is exactly how I would get things done. I hope you enjoy. As you can see, brand new community. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the tutorial because, well, I, I don't need it, and I don't think that those that are trying out Lethal would get anything from it. Set the community on Lethal. It's kind of defaulted to Trumbull Valley, but that's the one I'm going to go ahead and pick anyway. All right, let's go ahead and light this candle. I have all four boons unlocked on lethal level difficulty, but if somebody's a brand new community starting out, they're not going to have access to these. So I thought it best to not have access myself. Character selection. What kind of characters am I gonna have here? Right now, I'm 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 thinking uh, I'd like to have some cool traits, you know, kind of a cool backstory for my guys. But ultimately, you need to look at the fifth skill. And there's a few in particular that you need to start out with, and we'll see what they give us here. Sports trivia could care less. Utilities is going to be a maybe, so I'm going to leave that where it's at and start checking on the second one. Chemistry is good for a couple different reasons. Um, bombs and explosives is one reason. Science teacher, slovenly. Okay. I'm checking out the traits, see what I'm uh, potentially dealing with as far as positive and negative bonuses. Don't know if I like it or not, um, but I've got another one to play with. So let me see what I got in the third slot. That's a good one. Uh, medicine is a good one to have. Uh, in particular, you need it to upgrade your infirmary. Nurse, no belief in fairness. See, sometimes you'll get one that says uh, cancer survivor or lung cancer survivor. Uh, and the cardio will be capped at three stars. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and keep medicine. Uh, so let's head back over and look at utilities. Craftsmanship. That's a pretty big one. You're going to need it to upgrade your workshop. Also, Anna appears to be a decent shot, which gives us a good chance at Gunslinger uh, as a uh, specialization for shooting. Gunslinger gives you the aim snap, which is pretty critical when dealing with ferals uh, and large packs of mobs on lethal. Mechanics is also good because um, mechanics is going to allow you to build your vehicle upgrade kits, um, repair kits, those type of things. Medicine has now turned into a luxury. There it is, computers. Computers, in my opinion, is one of the bigger ones to start off with. You can either get it as part of the trait or have a blank fifth skill. But computers, you'll need to be able to upgrade your command post. I believe we got our group. Ah, fresh Trumbull Valley, Checkpoint Delta. There's no difference in the starting map on uh, green or regular difficulty as well as lethal. All the same stuff is there at the beginning. It's just clearly it's a harder level of difficulty, scarcer resources, tougher mobs, that kind of thing. Plops is next to a vehicle that doesn't run for for either being a demolished or having no go go juice. Look sharp, kids. We've got a freak. 
I miss my friends. I was going to get a couple rucksacks in there. I miss getting them out of silly trouble like ex-boyfriends and bar fights. It kills me that I... Now, I, this is going to be painfully slow to start with. These guys have no health, no stamina, no skills. And uh, there's already a screamer over there. Uh, oftentimes, there's also a feral over here. So uh, I may take these little spurts here and there, but I'm watching the mini map. Keep an eye on my uh, sound. And here, I just can't, I can't leave him over here. It's just you're just asking for trouble so i'm gonna take him out there didn't appear to be any other ones linked to him such that i uh, need to worry about it he's doing lethal if you've got more than one that are traveling together you kill one and don't kill the other one pretty quick the other one's gonna start screaming normally i dodge roll behind him but this guy's got like, <laughs> like, like no skills so I'm, I'm, I'm doing it old school. Okay, somebody's behind there. Good thing to do is to, you know, once you know they're on the other side of the door, just open it up. You're gonna knock them over. Now it's time to claim this place before anyone else shows up. Claim it. I like that idea. Our first priority has to be Your first mission is always to gather some materials, and then they're gonna want you to build something. It always gives you um, the ability to go scavenge and look for some materials, but I just use the one in the trunk of the car. Yay. Another beginning quest is to have two plague samples, so keep an eye out for those so you don't have to spend too much time farming them when you get the quest. Checkpoint Delta has everything you need to start off with. It's got your two open slots that you can put both a workshop and an infirmary. I haven't even done anything. Nobody's sick, so I'm going to use the initial supplies to make a workshop. You need to get the bed repaired. Start working on your morale. You folks mind helping us out? I'll be there soon, barring any delays. And there's your plague sample quest, a cure for all seasons. If you look at the morale, because you're on lethal, you all of a sudden take a, a pretty nice ding. Which the lower the morale, the lower uh, build times, um, you know, it, it affects quite a bit. Uh, so you get negative bonuses when you start going down there, just like you would get positive bonuses if you had a, a, a positive uh, morale. I'm going to start leveling Anna first because she's the one that has the highest probability of having Gunslinger. Uh, if I can get her to Gunslinger, then she's going to be my primary uh, gatherer. So we've got the car we need to get functional. You don't want to be running everywhere, especially on lethal. I got a couple options here. Down in that campsite, there's often um, either gas tanks or uh, crossbows, things like that. I, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to this little outposty looking thing just on the other side of the bridge because there's there's always it's a military deal. So there's always some guns and, and ammo and stuff there, uh, which I have none right now. So uh, dealing with a feral would be problematic. Some of them are even kids I taught in class. I always blame myself. And again, I'm going to take the slow approach. This was just one way to try and fix it. As weak as my guys are, I am not going to do any fast search because I just can't afford it. You really have to be cautious on lethal. Have you got some loaded up characters? Uh, different story. You can be a lot more loose with your play style. I still have this guy on follow. I did that for a couple reasons. One, if I did get into trouble, most likely he would draw aggro, and they don't seem to take as much damage as you do. So that would give me time to, to figure out something.
As I'm gathering up stuff, I'm just going to give it to him. Rucksack and all. I think we've got everything and we can head back over. I don't mind running at this point because I know there's nothing between me and the base. Right now the circle that uh, extends around the base, it's not really a, you know, monsters can't come in there. It's, it's kind of like it, they try not to, even though on this road right here, you're going to see some wandering packs. Dump everything off in the supply locker. Here it's just easier to switch over to him and, and do it rather than to, you know, one by one take the stuff out of his inventory just to turn in. I'm not screwing up any quest by switching to him either. Use it wisely. Switching back to her because she's going to be the one that's going to do the hunting and the killing right now. I've got a nice crossbow right off the bat. That's going to help out with sound. I'm going to go check out and see what kind of goodies are down here in this camp. Again, I'm going to be real slow and methodic about it. Not quite what I was hoping for. Was hoping for either some, some parts, a gas can. Uh, you can see the gas can in the back. Just because it's a gas can does not mean that's what you're getting. No fast searching. Nothing worth taking here. Especially with those... Zed's down there in the uh, creek or river. There's my gas can. I'm bored, so I went out and found a few things. You're welcome. All right, time to sneak back. You can see some Zeds there off to the left, and there's a Screamer right down there on the bank. Now we have to get a little closer to him than I, what I was hoping to, but let's get some sneaky going on. All right, now I'll go ahead and run. Now, I'd love to run as much as I can so I can start getting my cardio up and getting more stamina. I'll go down and get the car. Car 
board's pretty beat up and it just needs gas to get it going, which I have. But the doors are open, so it wouldn't take very much for me to get yanked out of the vehicle. But I haven't seen a repair kit yet. Let me make sure that there's nothing back there. Now, I got some stuff that's closed, so I, I'm trying not to make too much noise. There's only so much you can do with a vehicle, though. All right, we now have our vehicle. Let's go ahead and dump everything we can. Take a quick look. See what kind of Z issues I've got going on. I've still got that quest to go turn in the two plague samples. I just spotted a bloater. My vehicle's beating up so much to where it's not such a hot idea to run over Zeds, especially on lethal. On lethal, you run over one. I, right, right now, I could be on fire if I ran over one. Doesn't mean I would. I'm just saying that's that's how much damage it does. I'm trying to be careful about where I park and how close to anything I am because I, I just I cannot afford to draw attention. Let's go take a look at the Cure for All Seasons location. I'm going to make sure to hug to the right because I know there's some stuff in the center of the road that I do not want to draw aggro and could have swore there was a feral there as well. Okay, I think I'm clear, but I'm going to run inside anyway. Not only because that's where the quest is at, but also just in case something did follow me, uh, I can get some help from the Enclave members uh, to help fight them back. And then the door is a good little choke point. You've been well? The safest way to collect samples. Our vehicle's kind of beat up, so getting uh, two plague samples might be a little difficult right now. Uh, however, you do get a higher rate of plague samples from a crossbow. Going to mark him real quick so I know where the heck he's at. Let's see if I can get a shot off on him. I cannot see him because of this little hill. Like I can, if I'm standing up, I can maybe catch a glimpse of him, but I, I can't get a good shot. And he's far enough away to where I'll just be wasting those, you know, 14, 15 crossbow bolts that I have. So I'm going to keep him marked uh, and then see what I can I can do as far as getting plague samples. I need to just go ahead and ignore this. Now, normally you're going to find some plague samples um, over there on the other side of the building, closer to where you see that little shell icon. Still can't get a shot off on him. And we'll pick up right here in the next episode. Hope this is helping somebody and take care.